I'm here in the garage. Um, not been doing any actual vlogging on the bike. Um, been going to work on the bike on days, but I had a spell where I wasn't going to work on it because the road uh, roads were so treacherous with ice that um, it wasn't worth taking my chance. In fact, I can get just about to her work if the roads are de-iced and salted but the last 300 yard section of road to her work is treacherous and I can't chance taking my bike on that but anyway we've had a few degrees uh, rising temperature it's not as icy at the moment now so uh, I have been going back and forth to work on the motorcycle the last uh, couple of days but really this vlog is all about a particular section of road now I use this road every day when I'm working uh, and bear in mind when I'm on it usually it's early morning so it's dark but it's absolutely atrocious you know you're not talking one or two potholes on this particular section you're talking you know a couple of hundred yard section where the road surface is gouged out it's undulating there's gravel and there's potholes and you know even as a car driver it's quite uh, difficult sort of going over it but as a motorcyclist absolutely treacherous so I'm really highlighting this because the council Lancashire County Council or the local council which is Hyman Borough Council have done nothing about it uh, and you're not telling me that they're not aware that it's a danger to people it's certainly a danger to motorcyclists or cyclists so hang your head in shame Lancashire County Council and Hyman Council and pull your finger out and get it sorted out before somebody is, you know, there's an accident, somebody's badly injured or even worse killed. So I'm going to show you a video of this. This is taken today, how it is at the moment. And there's been no effort whatsoever from what I can see to remedy the, the state of it. And it's just unforgivable. Unforgivable. I, I just can't understand why it's in such a state it is. Or why they've let it get to that. Right. Have a look, see what you think. Okay, um, I wonder what you thought about um, that uh, video and the stills of the uh, road on the A679 uh, into Accrington. Uh, I look back at the uh, the footage that I took and uh, it doesn't look that bad, but I don't know. Maybe I've just become immune to it, but it really is bad on two wheels. Uh, you know your, your suspensions pounding um, I don't know it, you know if you're a cyclist or a motorcyclist on that particular section of the road then it leaves a lot to be desired and in fact I noticed coming back from town after taking the video this is from the local paper of course and uh, lo and behold what does it say there you are row over the road casting we've got some council of there from a local town gesticulating showing how bad the road is so it's not just confined to uh, to Accrington it's confined well it's not confined is it it's a lot of towns but I don't think it's acceptable but interesting reading the article he was saying that a lot of 
four times the amount of money is spent on the more rural locations nearby than in the towns. Well, I, I don't think that is the case because uh, I've, um, I was lamenting last year on the vlogs riding the country lanes that um, in fact some of the good motorcycling routes on the back roads are ruined because there's a pothole around every corner so uh, it's no better in the country, no worse in the country. The only thing I have noticed is that once you come out the Lancashire boundary it seems to get better. Uh, you know I've ridden in Wales, Yorkshire, up into Scotland and Argyll down there and all the roads seem to be a better standard so maybe it's just a Lancashire County Council curse that there is on these roads. Be interested uh, what your thoughts are. What are, the, what are the roads like in your area? Are they much the same as the pictures I'm taking? Or are they better? Alright, catch you later. Turn out. Turned out nice again, hasn't it?